which you're looking at me through the eyes of an HIV infected person who is losing an aspect of their vision. How does this come about, may I ask? Well, let's get into it. HIV positive people take medications called ARVs to help them live longer and healthier lives. It was an amazing discovery. However, these ARVs have been found to be slightly toxic to the body by changing how something called mitochondria work. Mitochondria are found inside your cells and they work like little batteries. When these little batteries are fully charged up, they help our organs and our bodies to function well and we live healthier. However, when they're dying out, they may affect how these organs, including our eyes, function. Why does this matter? Well, 90% of how you navigate your world is done through your eyes. This is how you pick up most of what is happening around you. Now imagine losing your ability to do your work or see the face of a loved one. This is the dilemma that HIV positive people are faced with. Not very nice. Now did you know that your eyes talk? Yes. Last month, your eyes told me that you are not taking your diabetic medication properly. They also told me that you may have a brain tumor. And they also told me that you are too stressed, spending too much time in front of that computer and drinking way too much coffee. Girl, you need to relax. Yes, I can get an overall view of your health and your lifestyle by looking inside your eyes. This is because the blood vessels over there are directly visible. And this is how we're able to get early diagnosis on different diseases. Now, I've said all of that just so I can tell you that I plan on tracking how ARVs and HIV are affecting your body by looking inside your eyes. It's as simple as taking a picture. Selfie time! No, not a selfie. But I will be taking a picture of your retina, the part of your eye that helps you see, using something called optical coherence tomography or OCT for short. Here's how it works. Now, when we directly look inside your eye, we may be looking or seeing just the top layer, like looking at the top of a cake. However, OCT takes a picture, slices the cake, so we can see the different layers inside. Now, the layers in HIV positive people and people who are non-infected have been found to be different, but we aren't really sure what the problem is. That's where my research comes in. I'll be looking at this layer more particularly. And in this layer, there is pigment, where in a normal person, if I take this picture, it will come out as a uniform layer. However, in HIV positive people, when I take this picture, it will actually light up differently to people who are non-infected. This is how I plan on tracking how this disease and the medication are affecting the body. It's a non-invasive method of tracking how disease affects us. Let's let the eyes do the talking. Yeah.